Hello to welcome to tector.com we are learning ER model and we know well about the entities and their attributes entities have attribute okay so in this lecture we will learn that the relationship also may have attribute okay so let's start with the example if you consider uh, the relationship between a department and a HOD so this is entity type HOD and this is entity type department okay and this is HOD relationship managers well HOD managers department okay so here we may have a attribute in the relationship itself that is joining it date okay so this is the date from which the hod a particular hod has started managing the department so this relationship has a attribute here okay so what do we do in our relationship uh, in our conceptual design is when the relationship is one is to one one is to one okay we can move this joining it to any side okay this side or this side okay move the attribute to any of the entity type okay but this is not the case when we have one is to n relationship okay so let's consider another example where this is student and this is department department this is student again joins this is joins j student a student join a department okay so multiple student can join a department so the relationship is n is to 1 okay so in this case if there is a attribute like joining date now we have to think about it then that, that in which side we can move this <coughs> attribute whether this side or whether this side well so let's think about it we have student s1 s1 whose department is cse we have student s2 whose department is cse we have s3 whose department is EC we have S4 whose department is EC okay so which, which side you can move this joining date okay so consider we are moving joining date to department side okay so in the department table okay in the department table this is department ID this is name and this is you are moving a new joining date okay joining date well this is this is our new attribute okay we are moving this joining date to department side okay so now consider we enter a department uh, make entry for a department like this is one name is CSE and then which jo joining date we will enter here because student s1 and student s2 may have different different joining date right so what will be the joining date here well we have a conflict here we cannot enter any of the joining date because we may have multiple joining dates for each student okay so in this case what do we do this is our wrong concept or wrong assumption we have to move attribute to the n side okay 
we have to move attribute to the n side n side means in many side in many to one relationship if a relationship has attribute you have to move this attribute to n side okay so the idea is to move attribute to many side many side okay now we have another scenario uh, that is the case first we deal uh, here we learned about is uh, one to one relationship how do we deal with uh, the attribute of a relationship relationship type in case of one to one relationship here we dealt with the attribute of a relationship type in n is to one or many to one relationship now we will deal with the attribute of a relationship type in case of many many relationship okay so the next is many many relationship okay so consider a example here also we will start with understanding as usual as exa from example so this is our entity student student okay and here we have subject subject and the relationship is student opts some subject okay so now check for the relationship it will be many many okay one student can opt multiple subject and one subject can be opted by multiple students okay so the relationship is many many now if there is a attribute here that is uh what do we say is for example grade okay grade so now which side we will move this attribute how do we deal with this in our entity relationship model which side we will move well so if you think like we previous previously we take uh, took an example and uh, thought about it here we cannot move this in any of the side okay in this case what do we need to do is we need to keep a separate table for this okay so we cannot move this any of the side okay we will have to take a separate table to store the relationship okay well so in this lecture what did we study we studied about the attributes of a relationship type attribute may have uh, three kind of relationship i mean it can be of three kind the first one is in the case of one to one relationship where we can move this attribute of relationship type to any side okay now in the second case when we have n to one relationship many one relationship we have to move this attribute we can move this attribute to many side n side and the last one was many many relationship in this case we cannot move this attribute to any of the side okay you can take an example and analyze about it we cannot move this to any of the side so we have to keep a separate table for this many many relationship where the relationship type has a attribute okay so i guess this is clear see you in the next lecture thanks for watching